from your experience. What have you learned to never mess with? As I have aged, I no longer mess with anybody. Usually in a moment I will never see them again. Also as you age it takes a longer time to heal. As an avoidance, I don't mess with electricity when I need electrical upgrades or work. I make an appointment and don't even bother to ask for an estimate. Just her proof of being bonded and insured. The gal I last hired added 12 outlets to my 100-year-old house. The outlets work, are cool to the touch, and the circuit breakers don't trip. I don't even remember her charge, just the results. Synthetic marijuana, I would never touch it voluntarily. But my now ex-boyfriend gave me that and told me it was regular edibles. I ended up having a temporary drug-induced psychosis and landed me in a mental hospital. The social worker called him to tell him why I was going on and it turns out he knew what he gave me and didn't care. He even filed a restraining order against me. Pro-life tip never date a Jehovah's Witness you met on FetLife. Don't fuck around on ladders regardless of how high up you are. My mum's cousin 6AM was attempting to climb up a ladder to clean leaves off of his roof and fell off of the third rung from the ground. He broke his spine into different places and is now a quadriplegic. His wife was on the phone to my mum when it happened and it messed my mum up for a while from hearing his wife scream when she ran out of the house and found him. Slim, just lip what he did to Jim. Well, a hush fell over the pool room Jimmy come bopping in off the street. And when the cutting were done, the only part that wasn't bloody was the soreness of the big man's feet. Yeah, he was cutting in about a hundred places. And he was shot in a couple more, and you better believe. They sung a different kind of story. When Big Jim hit the floor. When I'm carrying a bowl of hot soup, that's all I'm carrying. Any other time, I'm a big on the concept of one trip. Carrying in groceries, I'll load them all up and struggle through the door. Carrying any other meal, I'll grab my utensils and drink and carry it all to the table at the same time. But not with soup. Soup is carried by itself with two hands. Industrial machines that are not de-energized or locked out. Your chances of permanent injury are much higher than superficial injuries and you won't receive any financial compensation from your workplace because the machine wasn't locked out. Hungry person, overly religious person, overly tired person, stressed person, a person in serious debt, a mentally ill person, a person that is too kind, an intellectually immature person, Taylor Swift and Justin Bieber fans. Don't comment on someone's appearance if they can't fix it in five seconds. Don't comment on someone if you think they look pregnant. Don't comment on a relationship. Is this your daughter? Oh. It's your wife. Water. Rivers. Current. I'm a fairly good swimmer, and I wanted to swim in a river where the current seemed really tame. Oh, was I wrong? Just small moving body of water dragged my poor body like a leaf in the wind. Rivers, water, and current dot dot, since I can swim reasonably well. I was hoping to swim in a river with a calm current. I was mistaken a little. Flowing body of water pulled my frail body along like a leaf in the breeze. Animals. No matter the size working at a wildlife park, you discover all the lovely ways they can. And will mess you up. From guinea pigs to reindeer. All pose considerable danger if you fuck about. My sons, when they're gaming, they are playing high-level shit with major gaming people. Can't even call them for dinner. Because they are on their phones at the same time crazy shit. Acid reflux. Got Barrett's from reflux, which is precancerous. Thought I was having heart attacks for years. In better now, though. Anything that seems to be chronic and irritating go to a doctor. Any sort of stinging insect's nest. They can fly. They will chase you down. They will go find their friends and come back for you when you least expect it. They will never forget or forgive. Middle-aged women who've seen some shit. I do not mean Karen's I'm one now. And I'm a very placid, chilled-out person. And I can't be doing with unnecessary drama. But... Don't effing mess. Natural elements. Nature is not as under control as we might think. 
It takes one natural disaster to spin entire towns and cities that were civilized into absolute chaos and destruction. Don't mess with someone who has headphones on. Me it's me don't continuously try to talk to me. Headphones mean I'm not interested in whatever the fuck is gonna spill out your mouth. Heroin. You spontaneous his tail is the most direct reason. I knew about soft drugs and hard drugs. This person taught me that there are also no 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 new drugs. A dented hood on a windy night dot dot. My hood flew open on an icy road going about 70 miles per hour. Thankfully, there was an ice covered grass median I was able to come to a stop on. After my last adventurous self administered haircut, I've learned to never mess with scissors and a YouTube tutorial. Hiding two weeks under a hat wasn't funny either. Never fight a farmer. They spend their whole day lifting things that weigh as much as you. Wayne, from Letterkenny, is not a stereotype. A farmer can fuck you up. Disconnect the battery when working with anything electrical. Plugged in a power wire once and the solar note got stuck open, overheated and caught fire. Taking chances on electricity. If I'm working on a circuit I just turn the entire house power off. Much less chance of mistakes. Big titties swinging towards my face. I thought it would feel soft, but no it's like a bag full of hard stuff hitting full force. Electricity and plumbing. Those are skilled positions for a reason and are better left to the people that do it for a living. Aggressive drivers. They are having a rough go of it and obviously not mentally well. Move out of their way for fuck's sake. Things that some hot work but could need a fixing. Unless I have a plan B when the device breaks while repairing it. Those people who like to climb up buildings with no safety harnesses, rips, parachutes, dot 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 like who hurt you. The mysterious and unpredictable force of a toddler's temper tantrum. Trust me, it's not worth it. Drywall and axle gear swaps. Both are more art than science, and I don't have time to learn the art. People who constantly complain about not having friends, or how everything in their lives suck. The thermostat when my aunt's at home. Although I grew rebellious, and do it anyway sometimes. Snakes with triangular heads and always treat people with respect. Especially us quiet ones. People who have time and time again accurately predicted the good and the bad of my future. Three rules of surgery. Sleep when you can. Eat when you can and don't mess with the pancreas. Quitting a job without another one locked in. Life has destroy you in a matter of months. Anything electrical beyond plugins. Let someone who knows what they're doing handle it. Hornets once. I unintentionally disturbed the nest. For me, it did not turn out well. Plumbing, load bearing walls and electrical systems. Get a professional to do it. The quiet one watch and listen they really have a grip on what's happening. Anything steam related. I got a bad steam burn on my back about three years ago. From my experience, I've learned to never touch the do not touch button. Dishonesty. In the end all the drama caused by the same becomes my drama. Billion dollar corporations and reporting them for sexual misconduct. My grandmother when she tells me that she had cooked but I'm full. Cosmetic plastic surgery. It rarely looks better than the original. Any type of wild animal. Even the small ones very unpredictable. Meth heroin. Lost so many friends. And worst of all, my brother. Mother nature. Mother-in-laws and motherfucking Ukrainians. You fucked with squirrels, Morty never fuck with squirrels. An axe wilding crackhead who thinks everyone is a zombie. Cactus, spiders, buzzy things that sting poison ivy. Household cleaning products, specifically mixing them. People's children, mama bears aren't just in the wild. Texas dot 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 there's even bumper stickers that warn us.